Hey folks, Changing Reason here. I've got another short one for you today. While many of you have likely already noticed this, I felt it was worthwhile to point out how frequently we see off-duty police officers playing pivotal roles in high-profile shootings or so-called terrorist attacks. And to the as-of-yet uninitiated out there, by high-profile, I mean faked, hoaxed, staged, etc. Here are some examples from this year alone. On February 11th, a man walked into a Columbus, Ohio restaurant and began attacking patrons with a machete. According to some reports, the attacker made reference to Allah during the attack. After fleeing the scene in a vehicle, he was spotted by a police officer working, quote, special duty in the parking lot of a nearby shopping center. He gave chase and ultimately shot and killed the perpetrator. On February 25th, a man entered Excel Industries in Heston, Kansas and began shooting. And while it was the Heston police chief who was the first on the scene and ultimately killed the shooter, another officer who had just gone off duty also arrived at the scene to help clear the building and tend to the wounded. On May 10th, in Taunton, Massachusetts, a man, after already killing one person and injuring another elsewhere, drove his car to the Silver City Galleria and crashed it through the front of a Macy's store. He then exited the vehicle and began stabbing people. A nearby off-duty police officer intervened, shooting and killing the attacker. On June 12th, a man entered the Pulse nightclub in Orlando, Florida, and began shooting. An off-duty police officer who, we are told, was working as a club security guard that evening, was the first to engage the shooter. On September 15th, in New York City, police confronted and pursued a homeless man who was armed with a meat cleaver or butcher knife. These terms are being used interchangeably in reports. An off-duty detective who happened to be nearby attempted to tackle the man and suffered a cut to the face while doing so. The man was ultimately shot and killed by officers about a block from a Macy's store. Just two days later, on September 17th, a man entered the Crossroads Center Mall in St. Cloud, Minnesota, and began stabbing people. The attacker allegedly referenced Allah during the attack. An off-duty police officer who happened to be in the vicinity shot and killed the perpetrator. Oh, and this also happened in a Macy's store. And here's one from The Vault, just for fun. On February 12, 2007, a teenager armed with multiple firearms entered the Trolley Square Mall in Salt Lake City, Utah, and began shooting. An off-duty police officer, who happened to be nearby eating dinner with his wife, was the first to confront the young assailant, who was ultimately killed by responding police. So what's the significance of off-duty police officers? I can't say I know for sure, and there's likely no single explanation, but I can speculate. In most of these cases, at least, it seems that the script requires someone to immediately intervene, thwarting or at least interrupting the attack. Among other benefits, this ensures that no unauthorized bystanders decide to take matters into their own hands. However, we can't just have anyone with a gun becoming a hero. That might send the wrong message. We need the right kind of person with a gun, someone who's supposed to have a gun. Enter the off-duty cop. In other instances, it may simply make for good storytelling. And in others, perhaps, legal or jurisdictional factors are at play. If a state or federal agency is managing the event, perhaps it simplifies things with respect to reporting, accountability, and liability if our hero cop is off-duty. 
It's worth noting that in the case of the Kansas Excel shooting, the first officer on the scene was not the off-duty cop, but instead the police chief himself. Obviously, no one from within his department will be scrutinizing his report. That's convenient. Anyway, the off-duty cop saving the day scenario is just another red flag to add to the long list of red flags associated with these sorts of events.